hey guys welcome back to the next video and in this video i will extend the conversation uh, or the talk i had in the last video for creation of bar chart by using the uh, only one value which is home goals from the fifa world cup results so we have home goals and away goals now let's go ahead and include the away goals and create a group bar chart right that's the natural evolution from a normal bar chart to a group bar chart so if you remember from my previous video what i'm doing is creating a list so away goals and good all right once i execute that what i have is not only the home goals but the away goals now i can create the two different traces on which i can have the away goals and the home goals okay so what i'll do is i will just remove this i will trace zero and trace zero is nothing but go dot bar uh, my x is uh, fifa underscore hg dot index and my y is fifa underscore hg dot away goals i think that is pretty much it copy this paste it there and just change the home goals right once i am done over there uh what i need is data trace zero trace one just combine that layout and uh, remove this data press it this strange enough it has created the line so let me see if i have done something wrong so if I go here, trace zero, go dot, all oh right, trace one. That's what it happens when you just copy and paste. I think apart from that, there is no issue. If I go ahead and press control enter, control enter over here to create a data set layout and this. All right, now I have my my trace zero and trace one uh, with a group bar chart so with this you can create multiple traces and uh, create a bar chart for yourself which is a group bar chart 